Is the Hyundai Santa Cruz a practical vehicle? Is it practical as a daily driver? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. So the question of the day, is the Hyundai Santa Cruz a practical vehicle? You know, I've been thinking about this a little bit, particularly while I've been away from it. You know, is this a vehicle that maybe if you only have one or you're buying this to be your daily driver, is it really practical? There's about five or so things that I consider when I'm looking at this. Number one is pricing. You know, are you gonna have to go out and spend 50 grand to get this thing? Does that make it practical for most people? And the answer is no. You know, mid to upper 20s to close to 40, depending on how you option it out, what trim level you get, all that good stuff, and if there's any aftermarket adjustments, it's really not badly priced, especially compared to some of the other options out there in the way of a mid-sized truck. I mean, if you get a Tacoma, you're looking at 40 to 45,000, plus anywhere from two to 10,000, it seems, with the aftermarket adjustments right now. Number two, fuel economy. I mean, if you're gonna be daily driving this thing, you're gonna be feeding it. How hungry is it? Well, you know, mine is getting somewhere in the 24 to 26 mile per gallon range, and that's driving it in a more city type setting. So slower speeds, a lot of stoplights, stop and go, that kind of thing. Not too bad. My Toyota Tacoma, and I use this for reference because I have the Tacoma, of course, and a Jeep Gladiator, but both right around the 14 to 16 mile per gallon range in the same scenario, in the same situation. So yeah, I'd say the Santa Cruz is pretty practical when it comes to that as far as a truck. And of course, I'm speaking to this from a truck owner's perspective. There are cars out there, obviously, that you can get that get way better gas mileage. I mean, heck, buy a Tesla. Of course, we get into the pricing issue now. But for a truck, yeah, I'd say it's pretty practical as far as fuel economy goes as well. Number three, the family hauler. Now, this is where we get into a little bit of trouble with the Hyundai Santa Cruz, and it kind of depends. It's great for two people, you know, two people in the front seat, plenty of room, plenty of elbow room. You're not gonna be fighting over the center console, armrest area, and you're gonna have plenty of room for that other arm. But if you've got kids, as long as they're little, young, and I'm talking maybe even above the uh, seat uh, adapter thing or the car seat thing, and then you're okay because there's enough room for little kids back there. Now, when they start to get a little bit older, say anywhere from, I don't know, 10 to whatever, however long they stick around, it's going to get a little cramp back there. It is pretty tight. They took four inches out of it when they pulled it from the SUV that it was fashioned after. So there's not a whole ton of space unless your kids are fairly young. You can fit car seats back there, but again, you really start to eat up the space and you might get those kicking legs against you if you put a relatively large car seat back there. And by the way, they're pretty big these days, car seats. So it's not a big stretch to think you're probably gonna have little legs kicking the back of your seat, which would drive me insane, by the way. Number four, drivability. A few things to do with this. One, is it fun to drive? Well, heck yeah, it is fun to drive. It's got pep, it goes, it accelerates well, it handles awesomely. It really is driving, or like driving, an SUV. Love that about it. You can see out of it, it's fairly comfortable, although I would say the front seats could have a little bit more padding in the seating area. Uh, it just feels like they skimped a little bit there, uh, as far as mine goes, anyway. Um, fit. Fit ability. This goes right along with drivability because eventually you're going to have to park it somewhere, right? I mean, unless you're just going around in circles. It fits well in places. It's a good size. It feels a little bit bigger than an SUV, although I would argue if you're talking about a big SUV, then it's a bit smaller. But it does fit into the tight spaces. It fits into the grocery store spaces, the Walmart spaces. And if you're driving into downtown area where you may even have to parallel park, remember that? Can you parallel park? I didn't even have to do that when I took my driver's test, but I guess my mom did. But it does fit everywhere. So it's not so big like a mid-sized truck. And a lot of the mid-sized trucks have really grown. 
You know, I look at some of them today and it's like, man, they are about as big as what the full size used to be. Next up, reliability and longevity. Now, this might be where it kind of falls a little bit. We don't really know. You see, it hasn't been around that long. I mean, how can you judge how reliable it's going to be until it's been out for a while to show how reliable it's going to be? So speaking from my own experience, I've had no problems with it. No check engine lights, no weird things, nothing odd, nothing strange. And that's good because it is a first year model, which I violated, by the way. You know the rule, never buy a first year model. Yeah, I did it anyway because I really liked the truck. Longevity, same kind of thing. You know, until they're out for a while, we don't know how long they're gonna last. We hope they're gonna last a long time, but it's hard to tell at this point. Now, a little caveat to that, you'll probably see some reviews out there where people talk about this, primarily the big review, Kelly Blue Book type organizations. They will tell you that it's not very good as far as quality and reliability goes, but, there's an asterisk usually because they're basing it on Hyundai as a company as a whole and how all of their products have been doing historically. Now, is that fair? Yeah, I would say it probably is fair. I mean, I really doubt that Hyundai has a special division that's building the Santa Cruz and putting more into it than they do their other vehicles. So I think it probably is fair, at least until we have good hard data based on longevity, to go ahead and rank the vehicle based upon how Hyundai's other products are doing. Hopefully it does feel better or fare better because Hyundai doesn't do that great. Warranty, the last thing, 10 year warranty. I mean, where else can you get a 10 year warranty? There's probably a couple others out there, I don't know. I don't know of any off the top of my head. Now, the good thing about that is, of course, if there is anything wrong with it, it is gonna be covered under warranty for 10 years. That to me is, uh, makes you feel a little bit better, I guess, for buying a Hyundai and for buying a brand new model year. You've got 10 years to get the bugs out if you're gonna keep it that long. Me, I probably won't have it that long anyway. I'll either move up to another brand or up to a, a different trim level. I can go one higher with the Santa Cruz. So for me, it's not that big of a deal, but if you're looking to keep it for a long time, you've at least got that peace of mind that they're gonna cover it for 10 years and you should be okay. In comparing it to the Toyota Tacoma, well, it's number one when it comes to, first of all, the number sold by far in the midsize truck market. And it still has the belief, although I've heard they've started to slip a little bit, but the belief that it is very reliable and quality built. I don't know. We shall find out in the end, I suppose. Anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit. Is the Hyundai Santa Cruz practical? Is it a good daily driver from a practicality standpoint? Again, the only caveat, if you have bigger children, I would say no, because you're going to fight with them in the back seat. But otherwise, absolutely. It's an awesome vehicle. I love mine, and I think it is practical as a daily driver. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye. Thank you.